Hi, my name is Edie McCarthy. I'm the assessor in the town of Greenberg, and I thought that putting on a little quick presentation explaining what has been transpiring in the town um, would clarify some of the concerns that I'm hearing. As you're aware, you probably have received an assessment change notice with my name on, signed on the bottom of it, and I would like to explain that. There is some misinformation that is being disseminated throughout the town that I hope, hopefully, by the end of this presentation will be able to be clarified. So first I'd like to start with the fact that the town of Greenberg completed a 2016 reassessment project, as everybody's aware, and the town board has committed to maintaining the assessed values at 100% of market value which means that last year when you received your assessment change notice, you could un easily understand that the derivation that of market value, your assessment was at a small percentage prior to the reassessment, and now we are at 100%. Going forward in 2017, as you received your assessment change notice, <clears throat> It's because it has been determined that the market in the town of Greenberg for real estate has increased. So to clarify, there were 19,000 assessment change notices that were sent to all of the residents and identifying the market trends in your particular area. So let's talk about that for one minute. There are two components to your property taxes. One are the assessments that I set based on the market value of your property, and two are the tax rates. Tax rates are established by the governing body's budgets. They need X number of dollars to operate, and where are they gonna get that money from? The big chunk of it comes from your property taxes. Your taxes, your personal taxes, are derived from the tax rates that are set and the assessments that I establish. So today, we're just here to talk about the assessments. As you saw in your letters, there were again, there were 19,000 letters that were sent out, each of which was showing a market increase. Everybody in the town um, has experienced that market increase. That increase was determined by three different independent studies, myself, Tyler Technologies, we retain their services to do the analysis again, and New York State Department of Taxation and Finance slash the op, um, Office of Real Property Tax Services. Each of the independent set of tests by myself and or my team, Tyler Technologies and the Office of Real Property Services, we did two different studies. We did a sales ratio study and a computer-aided mass appraisal study. All three of us, independent of each other, came up with the same exact results. So <clears throat> those results reflected in what was happening in a market area. Market area is defined as your neighborhood and what is comprised of your neighborhood. If you want to know exactly the definition of your neighborhood, you can go on the Town of Greenberg website under the assessor's office and you can see how your neighborhood was defined. For the most part, properties within the town increased in market value from 2016 to 2017 by 4%. That varied based on neighborhoods ranging anywhere from, I think the lowest market trended increase established was 2% and the highest in small little pockets was 6%. So what, will you, what you can see on the Town of Greenberg website, again, the assessment department, is a map that will identify the 19,000 properties. I'm just holding this up, you can see it better. Um, the purple is the 4%, the yellow is the 3%. So if you can see, it's throughout the entire town, most of which of the pockets have increased in a market value of 4%. Again, I would like to clarify some of the misinformation that only one or two pockets in the town assessments were changed. That is inaccurate. The other inaccuracy and the other clarification that I 
would like to discuss is that just because you received this assessment change notice with a market trend analysis of the two, three, or four percent, um, that does not mean that your property taxes are going up. So if you're within a school district, for example, if your assessment went up by four percent in your within your school district, everybody's assessment went up by four percent. Again, there's two components to your property taxes. So if everybody's assessment went up by 4%, the tax rate, the rate itself, will drop by 4%, leaving your property taxes the same as they were. What changes your taxes from year to year are a couple of things. One, as I discussed earlier, the operating budgets of the taxing jurisdictions being the town, the county, the school, the village, the fire department, and the special districts. That will change your property taxes. Also, if you took out a building permit and you improved your property, or if you had um, a catastrophic scenario and your assessment was reduced, or you put a new construction, those types of things. As that has been in the past, your assessment would change. This, again, this market trend increase that we're experiencing as all assessments are being increased, your taxes are, will not change because of this because the tax rate will decrease. So again, I just wanted to clarify that and also the fact that there were 19,000 letters that were sent out um, earlier this week. I guess everybody's in receipt of them by now. It, if you do not feel to conclude this presentation, if you do not feel that the assessed value on that letter that you received is accurate, is an accurate reflection of what you can sell your property for, because that's the defined market value, then you have an opportunity to have your assessment reviewed. Come in, you can make an appointment with the assessment department, either myself or my team. If you feel the need to do that, um, please get enough information to be able to support the fact that you don't feel that your assessment is accurate. And that means, as simply put, as interior photographs or comparable sales, or if you have a recent appraisal of your property, you can even go to a realtor that you know and they can do a CMA, which is a current market analysis. Anything that's going to help define the market value of your house will help us in establishing the correct market value for assessment purposes. We want to ensure that all property owners pay their fair share of property taxes, no more and no less. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video.